On November 15, 2024, PT PAL Indonesia achieved a significant milestone in the nation's defense industry with the keel laying ceremony for the second Mara Puti frigate. The event, held at the PT PAL shipyard in Surabaya, East Java, marks the official start of the vessel's construction. Representatives from the Indonesian Ministry of Defense and the Indonesian Navy were present, underlining the importance of this project for the country. The Mara Puti frigate program is a key element in Indonesia's strategy to modernize its naval fleet and strengthen its domestic defense capabilities. The frigates are based on the Arrowhead 140 design by Babcock, featuring advanced technology and weaponry. At 140 meters long with a displacement of 5,996 tons, these vessels will be equipped with vertical launching systems for surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missiles, as well as 76mm naval guns. The first steel cutting for the second frigate took place in June 2024, marking the physical beginning of construction. The keel-laying ceremony, however, signifies the official start of the vessel's assembly. This project is a part of Indonesia's broader defense modernization strategy, aiming for greater self-reliance in its military capabilities. Since the 1950s, the country has worked to reduce its dependence on foreign defense products, leading to the creation of key state-owned enterprises such as PT Pindad. PT Pindad, for example, has been crucial in developing indigenous defense products like the SS-2 rifles and Komodo tactical vehicles. Indonesia's defense industry has been further supported by strategic policies like Law No. 16 of 2012, which promotes the creation of a professional and innovative defense sector. Additionally, the Minimum Essential Force Program, introduced in 2009, outlines a phased modernization of the Indonesian armed forces to enhance its core capabilities. Key players in Indonesia's defense ecosystem, such as PT Pindad, PT Pal Indonesia, PT Dragantar Indonesia, and PT Dahana, are grouped under the Defend ID holding entity, which fosters greater collaboration and operational efficiency. PT Pal, for instance, is renowned for its naval vessels, while PT Dragantara focuses on aircraft production, strengthening Indonesia's defense industry from multiple angles. Despite the progress, Indonesia's defense sector still faces challenges like budget limitations, technological dependence, and the need to stay competitive globally. To address these issues, the government has increased defense spending and pursued international collaborations, such as the KFX-IFX fighter jet program with South Korea, which facilitates technology transfer and helps build local expertise. The keel laying of the second Mara Puti frigate is not just the start of a new ship's construction, it is a significant step in Indonesia's journey toward self-reliance and stronger national defense. As the country continues to modernize its military and develop its domestic capabilities, it is well-positioned to enhance its security and become a more influential force in the global defense landscape.